Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you my St. Patrick's Day coffee bar. At first I was not going to decorate for St. Patrick's Day at all, but I for some reason got the urge to do it and I just wanted to show you what I did. I really did a very simple coffee bar for this holiday since it's not going to stay up too long because I cannot wait to get into Easter decor but I'm gonna go uh, section by section like I always do. And hi, if you're new, my name is Dawn. Thanks for coming by my channel. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. On the first level of my tiered tray, I went ahead and used my little pinch bowl that I have. I have a little pinch dash set. So I wanted to use a bunch of pieces that I already had to pull this together. So I was able to do that. And I went ahead and I bought these little glittery gold coins from Hobby Lobby. They're super inexpensive. So I did get two little bags of those to add to the pinch bowl. And then I just have my little countdown calendar there for St. Patrick's Day to add a little bit of a green touch there. And then on the side I have one of my little marshmallows. I did go ahead and buy some of the Lucky Charm marshmallows and I put them in there. And they're just in the regular baking section. And then on the second level, I just have the black cream and then the sweet sugar dish there with some more of those little marshmallows. And then I put some little four leaf clovers down there. I got a little pack of those from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I just really like how that black and white contrasts right there. Next on my little cake stand here, I have the Ray Dunn Lucky Canister. This is the only Ray Dunn St. Patrick's Day piece that I own. I did show that in my last haul, which I'll link above so you can see everything I got but I just really liked it. I like the little watercolor down there and I like the long letters and the green lid. So I was happy to get that. And then I just have another one of my little marshmallows there with the Lucky Charm marshmallows. And if you're curious about these marshmallows, they just taste like regular marshmallows. I did do a taste test. They're not like the cereal marshmallows, but they are pretty delicious and cute. And then I just set up some more of those little four leaf clovers down there. And then on my little tray here, I just went ahead and put the black homebird house and I put the baby heart canister with some of those fake tulips in there. And those tulips are from Amazon if you're wondering, they're like the real touch kind. And they are in my Amazon video from last year. If you're interested, I'll link that above as well. On my Keurig, I have this pretty iridescent rainbow mug from Starbucks. I just got that a couple months ago. I thought it matched everything very well. And for mugs, I have a cheers mug, a drink mug, heart mug, good morning, and hello. And then I have a banner up there. The banner is from the Target dollar spot. It's only a dollar. It's a great deal. It's really pretty too. It's got glittery shamrocks right there. So I did decide to do a black and white with some touches of green and a little bit of rainbow touch to just kind of pull it together. And there is another full look at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did want to go ahead and film it even though it's going to be fairly short just to show you guys how I decorated for St. Patrick's Day in case you have the urge to do so yourself. But I will be doing a full blown decorate for Easter. That will be coming up pretty soon. After St. Patrick's Day, I'll go ahead and take this all down and get on the Easter train, which I'm very excited for. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you will be decorating for St. Patrick's Day. Like I said, I originally was not going to, but just had this weird little urge to do so. And I'm actually happy I did because I think it turned out really pretty and simple. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.